Okay, today we're fitting this tow truss tow bar. Um, to a Volkswagen T5. This is the position I'm in at the moment. I would recommend I'm going to take a good, well, a good part of the day, I reckon, to do this. If you've never taken your van apart before, Volkswagen rear lights remove two posi drive screws or Phillips, however you like to call it. Remove those two and knock the light across with the palm of your hand in that direction to the outside of the van. That will release the light. Then you'll get to this panel here, which has got one, two plastic plugs in. Then you should be able to remove that out of the way. And that, these little clips that you can see, where my finger is, they clip into your bumper. Mine's not a standard bumper, luckily. So you need to take light out, side panel out, that clips into your bumpers and come around the side here where you will find the original will have I think it's two plastic plugs in there they need to be removed on the side here on the original bumper which I haven't got again there's a slider on here and the bumper actually slides backwards Peel it off the side here and push it back. Also, I think if I remember rightly, there's some more plugs here. Mine, some of the previous owner reversed into something with mine. I'll show you on the other side. Yeah. Luckily, because my van's fallen apart a bit, I managed to get my bumper off without taking that off. It's a better view. But also you will find there's clips here uh, about where is it here and the original bumper will be held on with that so hopefully you should be able to wiggle your bumper off I think there's a couple underneath as well I think I can't see it from here because I've taken some bits off but the plastic bumper will come round, I think, and it clips into one of these. There's a couple of plastic ones underneath. This is where we are at the moment. That you've got to remove. And uh, spare wheel. If you haven't done that for a long time, then these are going to be all rusted up. That's what we took out. And you will need a nice big bar. Let's find my standard one. That's a standard thing. Yeah, you might struggle with that one because everything's all rusted up. The other thing as well, probably get some spare little ones of these. They hold the... Uh, the plastic tray up which is above your spare wheel I'm gonna to need to replace some of those but I haven't got them because it's a Sunday so replace, remove the bumper remove the lights remove this panel here remove the bumper and the main cross member I managed to remove that without taking anything off else off I had to get the spanner down this little gap here there's two I think they're 13 mil I think they were but they weren't too rusted in, they were easy to take off. And that takes off the cross member, which is there. And then our other bits of the tow bar slot in to that side. I think it's inside of this, I don't need to offer it up yet, but I'll let you know in a minute. But yeah, it's not easy. A lot of rusty bolts and stuff. I did take off this um, bracket as well. It's a tow bracket for the for the exhaust because I thought I needed to get the bolt from the other side of this cross member but I don't think it's necessary. 
I think we go through from the, up, from the inside. I think it goes actually through that side where the holes are. You can't really see that. I can't see it on my screen, but I'll let you know in a minute. Uh, these these plastic things here. There's another uh, video that I've seen on YouTube, and they're uh, levering them out. But I use a little star tool that fits in quite nicely. Ram it in there like that, okay, and then twist it, and they unscrew like that, and then you get to that position, and then it just pops out. So you don't break any of those. But I use a star one. They, I think it's a hex one. But I use a star one because it grips a lot better. The hex one tends to roll round in it. And then just wiggle it out. I got these star tools with a kit. Right, let's go for the rest. Back again. Uh, this is a Tow Trust Tow Buzz 626. I have a 232 Volkswagen T5. And that was supplied by Tow Buzz Direct. Uh, I went for this one because it was more expensive. Um, the website was in true English. There was another, web, another website, I think, selling the similar type of thing for uh, about £120, I think. But it, when you read through the actual description, it's not in proper English. So I was a little bit skeptical about that. Don't quite know what I'm going to tow, but it needs to be right. This tow bar comes on a load of, load of bag of bits. The instructions are really, really poor. Uh, but what I will say is, on these, it's a removable tow bar. These bolts here. One of these, one of these sides, I should say, is longer than the other. And the longer bolts, they're only fractionally longer. So when you get them, you get four of those. Two will be slightly longer, two are slightly shorter. I think I've got this around in the right direction, but the instructions were in gobbledygook. I think that they want to put, them, to put these locking nuts in between, but that's uh, going to be impossible. There is a little gap there. I'm hoping that when I tighten this up, it's going to squash it and hold it nicely. So yeah, it's, um, these bolts are all the same all the way down. I've just dry fitted it for now. Make sure you get the this piece in the right direction. So dry fit that to make sure that your angle is your, your tow ball is coming out the right direction. Because you can reverse that, fit it all into the van, and find that you can't fit it in properly. So, but yeah, these guys here, tow bars direct. I found them on eBay, but I actually phoned them because I don't like to order stuff on eBay and find it's the wrong thing. And sending the tow bar back like this is going to be a pain in the neck, I reckon. Bloke was there was very very helpful. I it down, but everyone's clever, aren't they? So go read that. So I've just offered this up, and I think that the let's turn the crowd. these bars they're in the right direction, I'm presuming, and that goes to the inside of that one, which is good because there's good access from this side, there. I was thinking that I was going to have to bolt to the other side, well, there's exhaust pipe in the way, and this trim as well. But just to let you know, my van is at 09 plate, and there's quite a bit of rust on here, so you will find that there's a lot of nuts and bolts which are uh, rusted in place. Situation here that so just be prepared. Get some, make sure you've got spray in the right, uh, right uh, sockets and things. Right, I'm going to take this apart. They want the side bits on first here. These side bits they want on first, and then lift this bar up, then put it in position. Hopefully, everything's going to go perfectly to the suit. There's a bit of information as well on the uh, websites I've seen and they're saying that you need extra fillets and stuff on top of your bumper here to give the extra support but this particular one say it's made in England I think that this gives correct support for the top of the bumper as well 
that's a standard bumper but I've got a fiberglass so we'll see what happens in a minute um, oh yeah just taking that cross member off if you've got market sensors I've got to take off all the wiring just, just clip onto the bumper bit but you will need to be careful as you remove your bumper as well because there's not a lot of slack in these mine haven't used for years but they will clip off from this position. If I remember right, I removed the bumper slightly and I could get your hand underneath and bend these little clippy things back there. It's soft rubber and pull them out or get the plastic clips off. A normal standard one. Why they don't make good ones, I don't know. Stupid, aren't they? Let's get cracking. Right, bars are in. No real dramas there. This is the bit I just didn't get on. Probably an idea to remove that completely. I didn't really want to because it's looking a bit awful there, but it's smelling. You can't really see it. Torch. Probably better, isn't it? There you are. I'm going to give those a bit of spray as well. I've been using white lithium. Stop it all from rusting up. Right, let's see if it's it does. This is literally, I've just dropped that on top. Let's see if I can do it one handed. So we've got two bars. Drops it. This is the inside. I didn't, couldn't quite work out how that went. It's not easy. I thought I was doing the instructions for this. Right. Insert each correct sidearm, item B, into the chassis member and fix in place using E and item H. Number three, if using item F with item J, fix item A between each sidearm, item B. Using item D with item J and then item G with item J, fix item C and item K to item A. <laughs> stupid, isn't it? Absolutely stupid. You put it in proper English. Well, this is half the reason for this video, really. Here we are again. Just done up all my nuts and bolts. I did use the top wrench. Says, uh, item E. Let me see the E. Item E should be up to uh, 100 Newton. Well, I've set this to 100 Newtons. And uh, it's not clicking over, but I deem to be it definitely is tight enough. That's a standard one. There's no way you're going to get it tight enough with the standard one, so you need a big bar. Borrow one or buy one, that's what I say. Uh, but I don't think we should over tighten anything. But say mine wasn't clicking over, but it was tight, tight, so I'm happy with that. It's not going to come apart. I'm just going to go underneath now. Mine, I don't whack my head on this doofer again. And tighten up my main bolts. I think I should have done that before the other ones, but here we are. Here we are again. Tow bars fitted, well, it's not tow bars fitted, but the, the frame's fitted. I've just offered up my bumper. You see, I've got an aftermarket fiberglass one. This is the old one. Chucked the keys to my wife and she reversed it into something, so it's still in process, but I want to cut it now before I respray it. Just check, make sure it fits, because mine comes down a lot lower than the standard one. I think the standard one's about down to about there, and I've got the underpiece on. But, a nice little hole, a bag, keys, that push lock thing. You gotta push it and twist it to get it to lock in. Let's see if I can do it one handed. Oh, that's not gonna be any good, is it? I'm gonna have to cut that. No good at all. So, 
If you've got a standard bumper, you won't have the same problem as me. Just need to chop this piece out here. Whether I'm going to do that today, we've got to do something because I need a bumper on the back of the van. So we've got work. There it is. It's good. Didn't actually have to cut anything off the bottom of the bumper, so I still got my nice trim. But I did have to cut a little bit out of this section here, and I'm going to have to cut some more for the machine. Well, not the machine, but the catch to operate properly. So these, this one you twist and push, it unlocks. I might be able to do it one-handed. Let's try it. That's it, it comes straight out. Twist and push. And then it's getting in Put it in. Trying to hold it under the chin. There. That twist. Twist and pushes. That's it. So it twists and pushes. Spring loaded now. The catch is in. Yeah. And then I'll try it again. All you need to do is rock up to the back of your van and then bosh, straight in. That's it. The only thing by having this lower bumper and not being able to trim, uh, not being able to cut the trim out, is you can't see there's a little red thing around the top of the actual catch that says, yes, it's safe to use. So I'm just gonna have to make sure it's in properly every time. But yeah, all in all, I'm quite happy with that. I'm really happy about the fact that now I've got to put the van all back together again, but hey, you got to do what you got to do, haven't you? Yeah, there we are. We need to sort out those parking sensors as well. I think I'll zip tie them against the actual frame and bits and bobs in there. Good. Right, I got a little bit further on now. Just a little bit. Uh, they suggested in the instructions you put zip ties on the top of this I think there's just a couple of mil play probably about the thickness of that piece there so I put zip ties along that's helped me as well because I put my cables for the um, parking sensors there as well I've got this back on again the underbody tray or whatever you call it that's on oh yeah the other thing this tow hook here, don't take that off. I took it off because I thought I had to get to the other side of that cross beam, but you'd have to take that off. Just put the flip up electrics out of the way. I've had to bend mine here because I've got a lower bumper than everyone else has got. It comes around too far. Hopefully that is going to be flip out of the way-ish. I did have to trim a little bit of this as well, just in here, because it was just catching on the actual tow bar piece. So, uh, trimmed a bit there as well because I had to bend that one so it flips up properly. I don't know if I can plug my electrics in yet, I'm just about to re offer up the bumper. Ready there. There we are, complete. Just had to make a little cut out the bottom here. And then we got electrics.
Tidy job. I reckon it probably took about, oh, let's have a look, four hours. But you could probably do it in three. I fiddled around a lot with my bumpers because I haven't got standard bumpers. I had to do a lot of cutting and I cut the other bumper which is ready to go on as well so standard bumper I reckon about three and a half hours haven't done the electrics yet but I'll get to that